Hello and welcome back to Western Wild. This will be episode 56. Um, so in the previous episode, well, in, in between, I planted some of this oil seed radish down there in that one field. Planted canola here last month. Um, I think we're going to plant some barley up here in this field. And I think next month we'll be able to harvest. But there's a few other things we got going on. Um, I think it's barley. Um, a few other things I want to show you that I've done. <clears throat> I said the soybeans and I'm driving through right now. <laughs> and the cotton should be ready next month. Should be. We're going to try to get this right here started. Okay, come on, tractor. Still getting used to this tractor. Yeah, we will get barley going in this field. Oats is going in that field. I'll show you whenever I get this going on its own. Kind of got to watch it though because I'm afraid it'll go through my beans over there. But I figured this field would be perfect for barley because we can use, we can sell it or we can use it for chicken feed. Either way, I'm good with it. Um. Oats, we need oats for flour, obviously. We're going to get some corn going in the one field. These two fields will be soybeans. Um, I'm going to plant uh, the radish in the one field over there. Just, just because. I like to roll this field too, but this should be enough barley. I always got to keep enough so we have some stuff to feed the chickens, you know what I mean? And I bought a few things in between too, so we'll check that out too. That's what I'm trying to do is get this set up to where I can, you know? I think next episode is going to be our busiest because we're going to have to harvest cotton and soybeans. That may even stretch out to the next two episodes. We'll just see how it goes. I need to try to figure out, I've said it before, like certain areas will be certain things and we will go from there. I got this area over here. I can cut these trees out of here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We need some trees. I'm going to look into getting that, um, I forget what it's called now, but it's like a tree production, like it gives you logs. I'm going to try to look into that. That would be perfect. I mean, I know we got a lot of trees to cut, but if that does it automatically, then that, that way we're not always stressing for time to get them cut and put into the sawmill. We can just go pick it up, put it in the sawmill, you know, just like another production. But we'll get there. Also, I was thinking about cutting around the old cow leg field down there. That would give us some more um, room. I don't know. So we'll see. Now if this will go that way when I hire a worker, it'll be okay. I just don't want it to get into my beans that's almost ready. <laughs> and I did put duels back on this tractor because it, it just looks better. 
Let's be honest. It looks better. And if you're going to have a big tractor like this, it might as well look like a beast. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> get this guy going as soon as I get down here to the end. Hopefully he'll go that way. Too many times they want to jump across or cut down through the cotton. I don't need them to do either one of those. As we drive in the cotton. Good thing that crop destruction isn't on. <laughs> Alright, bud. Bought this sprayer for herbicide only so we can take um i just bought this because i don't think i'll ever get the chance to get one of these you know in another series anytime soon so i got it that means these can be used for whatever um gotta keep an eye on this too this says the nitrogen bad i have fertilized this like twice I don't know why, unless it's the bees or something. Like the bees can fix it, pollinate it or something. I don't know. These beans will be ready next month. Let's check out dude up here before we continue on our little roll around things. But that sprayer was just like a... I'm going to get it because... When will I ever get a chance again? You know what I mean? And with the bigger fields, it'll be perfect. Because even with that one, it's almost double. Alright, dude, looks like he's doing good. So I come over here. And I put, uh... I did plant some trees over here. I put a little fence around. But I planted some pine trees. Somewhere in here. Yeah, there's... They're all over. I tried to do them in a straight line. It did not work. Uh, bought this truck. Cause just for the logging and stuff. Because this thing... <laughs> big truck. <laughs> it is a beast. Um, did we really need it? Probably not. But it freed up my other truck too to haul slurry. And whatever else I needed down here. So... Like I said, I put uh, oil seed radish in this field just for fertilizer, basically, cover crop. I'm going to do it in this field as well, right here. Is my stuff still up here? It is. So I need to get that loaded and take it maybe up here. We'll cut these trees down in that little area. Um... This is going to be oats. And that field over there will be oats. This will be corn in this field. Because I like it. <laughs> but yeah. Golly, I don't know if I'm going to cut these or not. Whew, Lord. That is a lot of trees. And I do mean a lot of trees in here. Yeah, see, I was thinking about clearing out this little section, you know, just to add a little more, but I don't think I'm going to. Lord have mercy. Oh, we've got a lot of trees in here. I mean, obviously, we could cut out a few or something, but... Hmm... These cows are finally starting to produce some milk. Uh, what's old pig doing over here? Let's check on him. Straw looks good. Food looks good. We got 30 pigs now. My God. Um. Whoa. I, I pretty much have cleared out everything. Chickens are doing good. I think I fed everything too. 
This one's so tricky. Yeah, we can give them a little water here. Um, let's get this tractor with the roller going up there on that other field. And I'm thinking about getting rid of that truck and buying us a new truck. I think we deserve a new truck. Brand new. Maybe the bees will finish off the fertilization of that. I don't know. I've sprayed it twice. Well, the planter, the planter, uh, it does, it's got fertilizer in it. And I went back over it with liquid fertilizer. And it still says it's not fertilized. Is this, you see, this one's doing great. I don't know. I really don't know. But I think a time lapse as we uh, as we get this here going. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time today to we should get the oil seed radish planted over there because I'm gonna go ahead and send dude on here. Um look we're planting barley now, planting canola last month, and then we're going to be waiting so I can plant the old seed radish this month or next month. But I'd rather do it now since we have nothing going on this month because the next month I'm pretty sure we're going to have cotton and soybeans ready. So, um, yeah. But, time lapse, and I will see you when we get done.
we got this field planted with uh, barley. Now we're going to head over here while this continues to roll on this field. I think uh, next time too we'll be able to spray that with a new sprayer. Maybe. Just maybe. So I think I'm going to cut out these trees right here. I think that's going to be our next little logging adventure. So I'll have to get that brought up. But we won't have to worry about that until say November, December-ish around in there because we will be full blown harvest here in the next little bit I said it may take two episodes one to do cotton and one to do soybeans we'll just have to see how that goes I we'll see what's ready but I'm gonna plant this over here in this field this is rolling so we'll be good um, I would like to fill this up, but it never works. Ever. When I'm recording, anyway. <laughs> but we'll... We'll run it out, and then... When the worker, he's going to buy it, so... It works out, I guess. I may redo some of these trees, like the willow trees there we may get rid of some of them and just kind of work things out a little bit but I figure this is better than just having a blank field you know so and I did expand this field I guess I forgot to say that But yeah, I did expand this completely, so we'll get to see that as well. Now, will this need rolling? Yes, of course it does. Of course it does. We'll get the halons to dug out, and then we will uh, time lapse again. See, I, this is the part I don't like, is a bunch of time lapses. But through that or the video is going to be like six hours long. <laughs> Two hours, I should say. I could jump cut. I don't really like doing that. I, I just like it being, you still get to see it. It's just sped up. You know what I mean? And you all seem to enjoy it, so. I do appreciate everybody that watches and comments and real to me really this field is one B I would hurt to uh, soften it all the way across but yeah all right and see this don't really use that much seed so it's really it's not even really that expensive. It's just time could say when we got time right now. That's, that's one thing we got is time. If you had noticed the time was almost like 12, it's because I had done that field already. But yeah, I'm going to look into that uh, forestry mod or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called now. I've seen it a few times from people. But that would kind of save us the hassle of constantly having to spend two or three days cutting trees to and that sawmill is so fast <laughs> like all them trees that I put in or left up there last time are gone like I mean it's just insane how fast that thing is See, yeah, we're way down here on this field now. And like I said, this is going to be an oat field. So, we have plenty for, um, I don't know if I want to put oats in this one too, because this one is going to be huge. We'll see. We will see. Um, I almost need to put a culprit in down here. Culver. Just like right in here. 
because that one's kind of got one there. And then we would have access from here to over there. Plus, I don't have to drive into the water here. I don't have to anyway, but I think that'll work. And we can just turn her around right here. That's why I left plenty of room here. See, well, I need to move that up there where I was talking about. And we... Come on. Come on. There we go. Straighten up here. Straighten her up. There we go. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now my hope is, if I go down here, this way, and then cut up, the worker will continue this way down. After I do the headland across, he will come back down and go this way. That's the hope. I don't want to start down here because he will keep going all the way through all them other fields. Because they're idiots. Straight up idiot. I got that big uh, roller, but it's it's kind of finicky to be honest. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I mean, it works. It just like you can't lift it. <laughs> so yeah, it's just pretty much there. This is gonna be a massive field now, and I do mean massive. So maybe we put something else over there. Eh, we can use plenty of oats either way. We need this is our be our oats for the year, so for flour. And the flour goes pretty fast too. So yeah. Maybe we'll just run oats in both of this field and that one over there. Corn is going in this field again, just because I like it. The cow leg will have grass in it. Um, that one up there, I'm not sure either. These two will be soybeans, without a doubt. No doubt about it, those two big fields of soybeans. Yeah, I don't know what to put in the soybean field, the little one up there, which used to be the grass field. Huh. Maybe... Sorghum? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. This farm here. Alright, let's get this big hunk of junk turned around. There we go. A little dip in the water. <laughs> this here and then we'll start it going that way and hopefully it will come down instead of go up into the other thing there got them going pretty good I bought a bunch of fertilizer and um, seeds for those two greenhouses I'm hoping this will work canola field here and I did it because we need canola well we don't need it but you know I like variety I'm I don't want to do the same old same old all right now that should in theory go up and then come back down that way not go up and come back down this way so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, okay, this guy's still rolling. What's this do? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. We will time lapse on this, and I'll jump to the other tractor when, um, when it's time, when it's done. I'll jump to it. I just want to make sure this one does what he's supposed to do. 
Oh, yes, yeah, a massive field. Man. That's not wide, it's just long. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got a little bit of room there for something. We got a little bit. I want a field up there, too. And over that way, we got plenty of room for fields. Um, I don't know what to do up there in that corner. I've had about 15 ideas. And I just really don't know what to do with it. But there will be something up there. Don't you stop and keep going. All the way through, bud. You know, it's crazy to me. This all used to be trees. Forced. And we have cut it down. And made all kinds of stuff out of it. <laughs> that little, I like that little section there, though. Which, I mean, I could cut them down and replant in straight lines. But, well, semi-straight lines. If you see the pine trees up there, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, I think we can take those right there. The all right, which way are you gonna go? Cause this is what I was waiting on. What are you doing? No. Why? Why do you have to back up all the way down through there and then come this way? That's what he was gonna do. See, that's why you can't trust him. Because they're a bunch of idiots. Why is it so hard to just go this way? I mean, like, for real. Like, just go that way. And then when you get down to the end of there, turn around and come back this way. Idiot. <laughs> all right i'm going to time lapse it and i will see you here when we get done i'll probably have to keep working with this idiot but fire him hire another one but i'll see you in a minute
got this one almost done. Didn't notice that he was working. I just can't figure your life out. I'm not a thousand percent percent sure that one up there can figure your life out, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Maybe after this time around, we will uh, we'll get it going. But I think we'll get this right here finished. The rolling finished and then call it a day. I may just finish the rolling off the green. And then next time we should should be ready to uh, plant. I mean harvest. We've been planting. Come on now, get it together. this work from inside pretty cool um yeah we will get that rolling finished and probably call her a day and park us right here for now I think that's a good spot. How much cabbage do we got? Why are you way down here? Another two's up there. That makes no sense to me. Our little flowers. Are we doing good on flowers? We are. All right. So we'll probably need that. We'll need the other harvester and the two cotton harvesters. Cause I am pretty sure I don't understand why the fertilizer is not working on that. We will also have to weed this field here. Um, I got most of this loam. There's silty clay in there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll get this finished rolled. And next time we will probably be harvesting. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll see. Well, he's making pretty good progress on this. I just need to look over and make sure it's doing good. Because we had a few little mishaps I've seen through here a couple times. I need to go over this field and I guess uh, soften it. There's some made. Yeah, he's missed the whole section here. Idiot. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, I will see. Why is the. I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe it's just that one spot that it wouldn't let me do nothing. Um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll be harvesting next time. See you later.